Today we'll be completing a bedside assessment. Uh, when entering the room, I'll check for any fall precaution, isolation precautions, which there are none. Uh, and then when coming in the room, look for any environmental hazards that might be around. Uh, I'll start by performing hand hygiene. I uh, introduce myself. My name is Josh. I'll be your nurse today. Uh, we're going to be completing a bedside assessment. I'm going to start by having you verify your name and date of birth. Uh, Nathaniel Baker, October 26, 1993. Thank you. And you know where you are today, Mr. Baker? Uh, John Tyler Hospital. Okay. And you know today's date? Uh, December the 7th, 2017. All right. Thank you. It appears the patient is alert and oriented in <coughs> time, person, and place. Um, now, on a scale of 0 to 10, 0 being the none, 10 being the worst pain of your life, how, how would you rate your pain? Uh, 0. Okay. Glad to hear it. Um, so it appears that the patient is in a sitting position. Uh, he has calm, no facial droop or ptosis noted. Um, it looks like he has uh, adequate hygiene uh, as well as adequate nutrition. Um, and he is able to respond to verbal and motor stimuli. Uh, so what we'll do to start, uh, I'm gonna actually just ask you to look straight ahead. I'm gonna shine this light to check the pupillary reflex. Okay, so it looks like the pearl is intact, uh, three millimeters in each eye. Uh, and so what we'll do now, I'm going to start with your skin. Uh, now taking a look, it's dry, cool to the touch, uh, even in tone and color, uh, no lesions, rashes noted, uh, currently no IV uh, or drains present, uh, as well as no edema. Uh, now may I have you, uh, to start may I have your hand, we'll check the capillary refill in the upper extremities appears that it is above, or excuse me, under three seconds. Okay, um, and so to start with your cardiovascular system, uh, what I'm going to do first is listen to the apex of the heart for a full minute. All right, now after that minute, uh, what we'll do is simultaneously compare the radial pulse uh, to the apical pulse. Uh, the apical pulse and apex <laughs> was a regular rate and rhythm, no abnormal noises noted. Uh, so compare these simultaneously. And again, it is at a regular rate and rhythm. Uh, now, using both sides of the stethoscope, uh, I am going to listen to uh, the heart valves. Uh, starting with the aortic, over the pulmonic. and over to the mitral valve. Uh, now we're going to repeat this with the bell of the stethoscope, the same valve. Okay, uh, and no abnormal noise is noted. Uh, as I said, it is regular rate and rhythm uh, as well. Now could I have you sit up? We're going to move on to the respiratory system. Uh, I'm going to use the stethoscope to listen to all lung fields on the front and back. Uh, now normally it's done skin to skin. This will be done on top of the shirt for this purpose. Um, so each time I ask you to take a deep breath and exhale. So it appears it's non-labored breathing, uh, equal symmetric chest expansion. There's uh, no abnormal no wheezes, crackles noted uh, in any lung field. Uh, just to ask, when you're at home, do you have any supplemental oxygen? No. Any incentive spirometer or anything like that? No. Okay. Uh, and when doing any activity, do you ever find yourself short of breath or out of breath? No. Okay. Uh, and so it looks like uh, that completes the respiratory. Uh, what we'll do now is move on to your abdominal. Uh, so I'll just ask you to pull your shirt up slightly. Okay, uh, now the contour of the abdomen is flat. Uh, the skin, it looks like there's no drains uh, or ostomies present. Uh, again, the color uh, in tone, uh, both are even, uh, no rashes or swelling present. Um, what we'll do, 
uh, is start by listening to uh, all four quadrants for bowel sounds starting in the right lower quadrant. sounds are present in all four quadrants. Uh, what I'm going to do now is why the palpate. Just let me know if you have any discomfort or any pain that you're feeling. Uh, we're going to do this in all four quadrants as well. And any pain or discomfort? Nope. Okay. Uh, glad to hear it. Uh, now just as far uh, as nutrition, do you know what you ate for dinner last night? Um, I had just a salad. Okay. And have you had a bowel movement since then? Yep, this morning. Okay. And as far as voiding, have you had any issues urinating? Nope. Okay. And uh, when you are urinating, have you noticed any odd color, clarity, odor, or anything like that? Nope. Okay. Uh, and just the last question with that, have you had any difficulty swallowing recently? Uh, no. Nope. Okay. Well, glad to hear it. Uh, so what we'll do now is move on to the lower extremities. I'll pull this up. Uh, we're going to check for any pretibial edema, uh, which none is currently present, uh, as well as we're going to check the posttibial pulses. Okay, which are plus two equal bilaterally, uh, as well as the dorsal pulse, which are plus two bilaterally as well. Uh, now, may I have you pull against my hands with your feet? Okay, and push against. Now I've got to be raise this leg for your knee to your chest, please. And then the same with this one. Okay, thank you for that. Uh, now I've got to do the same thing, push against my hands. Okay, and pull. Okay, and lastly, hands above your head. Okay, so it appears that the patient has a full range of motion, uh, no activity intolerance. Uh, it looks as though he's not currently a fall risk. Uh, no ambulatory aids are needed. Um, that would wrap up the bedside assessment. Uh, I would document that he's in a sitting position, the bed's in the lowest position, the brakes are locked, there are two side rails up and the call bell is within reach, uh, and I will document my findings.